today is uh, Sig Sauer Arms P229 LE law enforcement uh, version, as you can see on the case, which uh, I'm a big fan of, unlike the Smith & Wesson. It comes in a freaking paper box. Um, here's some of the tag information. E29 40BG comes with three mags, 12 round mags, and uh, the trigger lock. So you got this is the non rail version from the early 2000s. It's the, the blue trigger lock. Threw a uh, Hogue wraparound grip on there. It's got the thicker uh, trigger, not the uh, short pull. The 10 pound trigger pull. Beautiful, beautiful gun. I uh, picked this up at the local shop, Prescal Gun Shop in Mill Creek here. No magazine. Nothing in the chamber. I just love this gun. It's just solid. It's just built really well. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the wraparound grips. They look cool, but um, a big problem with them is uh, they can move up and then cover up your magazine release. And if you're in a situation where you have to use it and reload, you'll be in some trouble. But uh, this grip on this gun does not do that. I mean, I've I've jammed it, and it, it hasn't even come close to covering up the mag release. Um, on my shield, uh, just the way it's made with, with a wraparound grip, it'll definitely cover it up, and you'll have problems. So um, I'm going to figure out something else for that, that uh, particular handgun. Um, it's just fell in love with it the first time I seen it. It's on... It's just, it's it's everywhere, NCIS, you know, 24, like the first season, Jack Bauer used it the entire time, it's uh, chambered in 40, Smith & Wesson, um, I actually bought this back in December, uh, paid about 700, 720 bucks for it, um, these guns are awesome, they're friggin' expensive, a lot of people are like, oh man, I wish I had the money to, to grab a, a, you know, a SIG, um, my budget for for the my first handgun was like a thousand dollars, so um, I got that used. So you're, I mean, seven hundred is. I mean, this is a a, a decent quality um, law enforcement version of it. So you can find you can find them. Um, I've seen them as low as like five fifty. Um, you know, new they're like a thousand or so, depending on the setup and night sights and whatnot. Um, but uh. I actually carried it. It's friggin' heavy. Um, looking back at that, now that I, I uh, carry a shield, it's like uh, I can't believe I was carrying that big, big handgun. And it's, it's about it. Uh, not much else to say about it. Uh, I'll probably update the, this video uh, with another one as I get, uh, you know, like ammo for it or. Or any cool accessories, and, or, and I'll put up some some shooting videos. I'm sure. Um, yeah, I'll probably just keep it as a home defender and uh, just a shooting gun. Don't have any really, you know, the other plans for it. I think I'm done with handguns. I don't really see any that uh, I like. I have the shield for concealed carry. I got the got the Sig for you know home defense. Just a good shooting gun. Um, unless unless you guys know something cool that would uh would fit in the family that I have now. I think I'm gonna focus on uh finishing this uh AR build um and maybe like a, a Ruger Mini fourteens like my all time favorite gun. I want one of those one of the, the wooden one with the folding stock is the one that I want. So they're a little a little expensive right now. So I'm gonna maybe try to steal one. Here, if I can find one for a decent price as things calm down, which they seem to be doing. 
Well, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe.